G'day guys, Matty from AU Campus. Today, I've just got the um, Bungee Tech Marimi Sport. They do come with 800 rated struts, 800 meters I think it is. Um, they are The tops of these are rated to carry 70 kilos. I weigh 75, so it is a bit tough to pull it down myself. However, I've ducked down to local uh, bearing mob, picked up some 910 long struts, rated at 500 newton meters. I believe that is the term that the gas struts are rated in. However, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to change them over. Got a pair of them there. Undo your rooftop tent. Get them out of the way. Lift it up. Click up your internal support. As for setup, apart from putting the awning in up there, and you gotta clip the ladder on, that's it. That's why I love this thing. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through, flick it to time lapse, and let's get it done. All right. I skipped the time lapse. I figure it's just better to go through and explain it. Um, now with these struts, they have these really cool little ball joints on the end. Best part is, is that you just unscrew that, take them off both ends, because they're not needed. And this will make your job a whole lot easier and quicker. Undo your sidewall, you will need a small flat head screwdriver and a 13mm spanner. Sit them in there. Roll that up out of the way. Yes, I have done the other side. So, what you got to do is up top here there is a little plastic cap. You just want to pry him off. And it'll just it'll just pop off. It just covers the nut. So take him off. Get your 13mm spanner. Undo that. These bolts have been cut off to make sure that they are the right length, so you may need to just touch the ends up with the grinder just to make sure they're nice and neat. But now that that's done, you should be able to pop him out. And if you need to go get a persuader, seeing as you're needing, neatening up the end of the bolt anyway, might as well uh, just give him a quick tap out. So that's him out. Now there is another, another nut on there you won't need to worry about. Unscrew the top of him. Throw it on the ground. Or not. <laughs> Just screw that. That's without the ball on it. And there's the bit that goes on. So I'm going to go and give that a quick neaten up. Now that the end is all nice, neat and tidy, screw that onto the end of your new gas strut. All right, that one's ready to go. Unscrew the old, old struts. Grab the new strut. Don't even need to take the bolt out. Screw that one in. Here comes the fun part. I only weigh 75 kilos, so this is somewhat a little more challenging for me. Give that a pull down, try and get it in the hole. Just like that. Just grab your washer, grab your nut, wind them back on. Nip them up. They are a nylock, 
Um, grab your cap, locate, push on. That's good. That's it, guys. So now we've just changed from your 800s. If that'll go in focus, there you go. 800 down to your 500s. This should make it a whole lot easier for someone like me, who is a lightweight, to uh, close it. Let's uh, go and have a look. Now that it's all in, we're just closing back up. Stick that down. Zips down. And the moment of truth. Oop, sorry. Close your internal strut down first. That one there. Which wants to come back up because I've got so much bedding in there. But I can now easily pull that down. Testament to these ones. I love how easy they are to pack up. That's it. Straps in. Close them down. Everything else is in that end. Zips in. Latch on. Close. This ends in. Latch on. Close. That's it, guys. Replacing the struts from 800 to 500 in the Bungee Tech Marimi Sport. Now I do want to just add that um, I've changed these over purely because we don't plan on carrying bikes and kayaks and things like that on the roof of this. If we were, I'd leave the other struts on. However, because we're only going to be having something like a 200 to 250 watt solar panel on top, there was no need for us to have the very heavy struts. Keep it simple. As you've seen, it's not a hard job to change them over. I started 10 minutes ago. So 10 minutes from start to finish, done and dusted. The struts cost me about 20 to, 20 to oh sorry. The struts cost me $35 each uh, from the local bearing place. Strongly recommend doing this if you don't plan on carrying much on top. But again, nice work on the uh, rooftop tech bungee tech. And um, yeah, we're looking forward to getting out and using it. This does have all our bedding in it. It has the mattress protector, the mat mattress topper, it has a fitted sheet, a flat sheet, a blanket, and the King's Deluxe sleeping bag in there currently, and it's not impeding it closing at all. The only part that is sort of impeded with closing is the fold-up strut that comes this way to hold the doorway open, but that is to be expected with all that bedding in there. Um, I can hold it down and pull the rooftop tent top down by myself. So I don't see it as a big issue. Once you start pulling the top down, it stays in. Um, yeah, guys, cheers for watching. Um, don't forget, like and subscribe. Head to our Instagram, AU Campers, and our AU Campers Facebook group. And we look forward to doing some more of these in the future. Cheers.